Thanks for watching Outdoors Del Marva. I'm Mike Parker. We'll be checking in with my partner, Captain Willie Dykes, in just a few minutes from now. Well, coming to you this week from Ellis Farm here in beautiful Sussex County, Delaware, this property otherwise known as the home of the Gumboro Mud Bog. Yeah, but take a look around this week. Uh, you're not going to find any monster trucks cruising through this land, no? In commemoration of the September 11th attacks from 10 years ago, a lot of people here today to raise money for our wounded warriors. So it's not a mud bog, it's a swamp stomp. How's everybody doing this morning? Ready to get a little muddy? On a perfect Sunday morning, nearly 50 teams would find their way to Ellis Farm. Yep, we got up this morning, brushed our teeth, and put on our yeah. clothes, and we're here. We're prepared. <laughs> <laughs> we are not athletes. And as has become tradition for events of this nature, many geared up in special outfits to express their personalities. And we are the Dirty Dames. Uh, we're the Mud Mamas. The Mud Bobbers. Code Brown! But while the athletes couldn't look any different, before facing off in competition, the hundreds in attendance here would join as one in honoring those who died on this very day 10 years ago on September 11th, 2001. All right, so what do you expect? We have no idea. We're a little nervous, but we're expecting we're going to be real muddy. <laughs> Real dirty by the end of this. The Delaware Swamp Stomp raises money for a number of local causes, including efforts to improve the lives of wounded warriors. The money to get us! Warriors in their own rights on this day when the fire siren sounds. The Swamp Stomp begins. Now, to follow the action, we'll be riding along this course and stopping off to give you the best views. Hi. It's on, this is for WBOC. We'll also be taking you inside the action from a competitor's point of view, fitting our friend Jay Baxter with the Outdoors Delmarva Viewer Venture Headcam. For those who are new to the concept, a swamp stomp is another way of saying, we're gonna run a 5K, we're gonna get muddy, and most importantly, it ain't gonna be easy. Go, 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 go. Obstacles along this 3.1 mile course will test the skill of all who dare. From balancing on beams above water pits, to climbing and leaping off bleachers, to ducking beneath bridges. Each turn presents a new challenge, and that's just the beginning. I saw mud. <laughs> Yeah, we'd run up over top of a hill and climb down, and you'd fall in the mud, and next thing you know, you're face first in the water. There's a lot of people out here you know, too. You know what I mean? You're not strangers. I mean, it's Sussex County. Everybody knows everybody. You know what I mean? A lot of people you know, cheering everybody on. You know what I mean? It's, it's, like, it's competition, but then again, you're helping all the teams out. It's, it's a great time. In between the 15 or so obstacles scattered around the farm, runners will find no rest. While just a handful of athletes will run the course alone, the majority here will run as a team, and as the rules state, they must finish as a team. I had never done a mud run before, so it was definitely an unusual experience, but I liked it. I really enjoyed it. To be honest, I think the, um, the log that I had to walk across was probably the hardest, and some of the mud was so deep that my shoes kept wanting to come off. <laughs> An average foursome will include varying experience levels and physical abilities like speed and strength. But working together, they'll fill in each other's blanks to overcome each new obstacle they encounter. Put another way, one of the most intense ropes courses you'll ever find. Swamp Stop is no average run, and you can't always rely on athletic ability. Just past midway through the course, teams will have to get into a boat and navigate across a pond without the use of paddles. For many, it's an unexpected twist that could send their course times sinking quick. And this one almost capsized us because there was a spider. I think I saw that. <laughs> Sorry. Just when it looks like things aren't quite muddy enough, the final stretch of this course is a definite reality check. Conquering a mini mountain with slip and slide technique is the primer, as runners take the plunge into massive pits of mud and muck, sticking like a fly trap. And now, relying solely on reserve strength, 
and mental toughness. With the finish line in view, for many it's no sign of comfort as the final pit will push them to the limits. But in emerging as a team, one after one, the spirit of competition, sheer determination and pride will carry them through for a feeling of achievement only to be found by conquering the swamp. Oh, I just words can't explain how happy I am right now. See all the community come out just to support our country and our community. It's just, it's awesome. I can't, I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. Get outdoors, Oh, so what can you say about these dozens and dozens of people who made it through this grueling mud course today, except I have a lot of respect for you after this. What's everyone saying about the first Delaware Swamp Stomp here in Sussex County? I think that's overwhelming. They say it was a huge success, and as Americans, there's nothing they'd rather do than show their support for our wounded warriors.